Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Assassin skill, Weapon Block. So Weapon Block is a rather interesting ability that Assassin has and a lot of people don't know what Weapon Block is capable of, how it works, what it can block, what it can't block, and that's what we're going to go over today. So Weapon Block does require the use of two claws. So if you are going to use Weapon Block, you are going to need two claws equipped uh, to get the effect. And um, when you put a point into Weapon Block, you'll notice that first off, um, it does have a percent chance to block. And it is separate, of course, than your percent chance to block with a shield. Uh, when you beef up this particular ability, you will notice that uh, it does go up on your tree here uh, in accordance with the skill itself. Uh, the highest that you can get this ability, I believe, is uh, something like 60... I'm trying to think here. 64 or 65%, I think, is like at level 60, which is not achievable. But a more achievable number is uh, something like level 30, which is a 60% chance to block. Um, a 60% chance to block is certainly not bad at all. Um, but Weapon Block has some very interesting abilities, and, uh, and most notably is its ability to block spells. Yes, you heard me correctly. Um, a shield can only block a physical, melee, or ranged ability. It will not block spells. However, Weapon Block will block spells. And, uh, and it has a really interesting list of abilities um, that, uh, that I, we can go over in detail uh, later. Um, it is important to note, however, that Weapon Block will not activate when you are moving. Um, so, Shield Blocking, which is uh, uh, a completely different thing, um, when you are running, your Shield Block is actually capped at 25%, and, uh, and you are stuck with, uh, with no defense. However, uh, Weapon Block does not work at all when running, and it also does not work at all when walking. Um, I don't know exactly why they decided to do this with Weapon Block, maybe because it's so broken OP when you are standing still, but you do have to be standing still for Weapon Block to activate. Um, now, Weapon Block's ability to block spells is one of the main reasons why people will go with Weapon Block over a shield, and, uh, and we're going to talk about that as well. So, uh, first off... Weapon block does not apply when you are in werebear form. So if you do happen to uh, put on the fury weapon and transform into a werebear, it does not apply in werebear form. Um, it does apply to missiles and melee uh, slash ranged attacks, uh, but it does not apply to the following sources of damage. Uh, charging claw vipers and reanimated hordes, it will not block them. Um, attacker takes damage and attacker takes lightning damage effects will not be blocked by your weapon block ability. Uh, returned damage from thorns, iron maiden, iron golem, and spirits of barbs, they will not be blocked. Uh, psychic hammer and mind blast are unblockable. Uh, corpse explosion, death sentries corpse explosion, and neelithax corpse explosion are not blockable by this ability. Uh, radial fire damage uh, or radial damage in general, like holy fire, holy freeze, and holy shock are not blockable. Static Field is not blockable, Telekinesis is not blockable, and Shiver Armor Cold Damage is not blockable. Um, it will block fire damage per second, but because it has to block each individual tick, there's absolutely no possibility that it can block every single tick. Um, obviously, since you cannot bring it higher than around 65%. Uh, so you are looking at a reduction in damage and not simply a complete block of the fire damage per second. Because what will happen is it will block, you know, say... 50% uh, of the ticks, but 50% of the ticks will still make it through, so you will still take a relatively high amount of fire damage uh, from that effect. Um, so instead of preventing it entirely, it is more or less um, just simply um, a reduction in damage to fire damage per second. Um, it may also appear effective against skills that are releasing multiple, um, ineffective against skills that are releasing multiple missiles, um, especially those applying poison damage. Individual clouds released by poison explosion or plague javelin may be blocked, but it is extremely unlikely that all of them will be blocked. And that is, uh, that is essentially the same thing that's going on with the fire damage. So we have a, another situation where it does block them, but it's not going to block all of them. And uh, so you're still going to take uh, damage. Now, it's also important to note that, um, that Dexterity does not increase the chance to block with uh, Weapon Block, so you don't necessarily have to build Dexterity. You'll see I'm at 59%, and it doesn't matter how many points I put into Dexterity because I have 
175 right now, and it doesn't matter. Um, you do, however, still need the dexterity to utilize your weapon. Um, it's not applied consistently to smite when used by a paladin, although monsters using smite do not always hit and can be blocked. Um, block rate is the same as equipped as when equipping a shield, and faster block rate applies. However, equipping Guardian Angel Templar Coat, uh, 30 faster block rate, only reduces block rate from 5 to 4 frames. Um, there's very few items in the game, by the way, that are not shields that have faster uh, reduction, a, a reduction in faster blocking rate. So, um, or rather to speed up your, fa your, your faster blocking. Uh, Guardian Angel Templar Coat is one of those that will increase the speed at which you can block. Um, so that is one way that you can increase your weapon block's speed. Um, now, when it comes to weapon block, I think a lot of people um, make the choice of whether or not they're going to use... A, uh, a dual claw setup, and if you are using a dual claw setup, a lot of the times you will probably go with weapon block to increase that ability. Um, it is also important to note that while weapon block does not work while running or walking, um, it will work while you are using Whirlwind. So um, the rune word Chaos, which gives you the Whirlwind ability, um, will actually allow you to block while moving because Whirlwind is, of course, not considered movement. Um, it's very odd to me that Whirlwind is not considered movement, uh, but you will be able to block while you are doing the Whirlwind ability. Um, and this is one of the reasons why Whirlwind Assassins are so powerful, is specifically because they can, of course, weapon block while they are Whirlwinding. Um, and you might be asking yourself, well, what's so great about being able to block spells? Well, think about it in terms of PvP. Um, if I'm fighting a Necromancer, for instance, who is shooting Bone Spirits at me, or I'm fighting a Sorceress who's shooting Fireballs, or a, uh, a you know, um, or I'm fighting a, a, a Druid who's uh, shooting Tornadoes at me, um, these abilities can be blocked by Weapon Block, whereas they're not going to be able to be blocked by a Shield. Um, and being able to block a massive hit, like a Bone Spirit hit, can be absolutely detrimental to the Necromancer who's trying to kill you. Um, you might get in close, and he might get off two or three Bone Spirits, and you might block at least two of those uh, with a 60% chance. That's not that's not a bad percent chance. And, uh, and he might still do a little bit of damage to you, but not enough to kill you, and in the meantime, you've managed to kill him. Um, and this can be extremely effective uh, to prevent your death, essentially. Um, most of the skills in the game are capable of being blocked by weapon block. In fact, I just went over the ones that would not be blocked by weapon block. So everything that I did not list does, in fact, get blocked by weapon block. Bone Spirit, Bone Spear, Fireball, Firebolt, uh, Meteor, in fact, can be blocked, believe it or not, by weapon block. If you had a Sorceress cast Meteor on you, the impact of the Meteor could be blocked, as well as the individual fire damage per second can be blocked by weapon block. But as we discovered, it's very unlikely that you are actually going to block each individual frame of the fire damage, so it's going to be a, a net reduction in damage instead, but it will still block the fire damage as well. Um, you can also block many, many other abilities, like the individual spikes of Frozen Orb. Um, you can uh, block the, um, the, the effects of most monsters, for instance, like, uh, like the, the Valkyrie, the, uh, the, the Golems, the, you know, the, and so forth and so on. You're going to be able to reduce most characters' effectiveness against you while using we weapon block. But the downsides, of course, are is that when you're running, it's not effective. And um, you can't really get it to 75%. So uh, with shield block, you can get shield block to 75%, and it can be really effective. It also has a 25% uh, a, a cap when running, so at least it's still mildly effective when running. Um, and if you are a... Um, a character like, for instance, a Necromancer who's utilizing Tranghuls, you can actually walk at the same speed you run, and you can still get your 75% chance to block and, you know, have your cake and eat it too, essentially. Um, now, of course, you can utilize weapon block in various ways. You can teleport, for instance, instead of moving. Uh, teleporting is considered standing still. 
And there has also been a lot of contention over the years on whether weapon block actually does work while moving. And, uh, and one of the things that has been discovered is that sometimes when you turn to pivot, so like for instance, when I change directions, um, your character is considered standing still during those times when you're changing directions sometimes. And uh, during those moments when your character is standing still essentially for those very brief pivots um, you can activate weapon blocks during that time period um, but but once your character pivots and then continues moving forward he will no longer block or she will no longer block any attacks um, there are also quite a few times apparently when the game is lagging where your character will um, seem to be moving but they are not where you will have block animations go off uh, but for the most part, when it comes to weapon block, your character does have to be standing still, uh, except for those times when it is kind of, you know, oddly, um, oddly timed, where your character is actually standing still, but you can't see it, and so forth and so on. It's a, it's a little odd. Um, now, weapon block can make its way into a lot of different builds, um, specifically if you are using dual claws, and that is the main thing here. If you're not using dual claws, you're not going to want to use weapon block. Um, and putting points into weapon block, if you can, you know, because most people do at least put one point into weapon block, uh, usually to get down to the shadow warrior and the shadow master, um, is not a detriment. It's not going to hurt you at all. Um, so if you do happen to be using a sword and a shield or a claw and a shield or whatever your setup is, um, you know, it's not a big deal to put one point into weapon block. It's not going to mess you up or anything. Um, in fact, it has absolutely no effect on anything if you're using a shield. Um, it just kind of sits there and does nothing. Um, if you do build weapon block, though, I would recommend getting it to a higher level so that you get the higher percent chance to block. Um, you will find that weapon block is extremely effective against uh, caster types, especially when you're in places like Worldstone Keep and you have gloams shooting lightning at you. You believe it or not, you can actually block the lightning, which is really darn amazing. Um, Let's see here. I know I'm forgetting something else. Uh, did I cover the speed of weapon block? I think I did uh, briefly. But the speed of weapon block is four frames. It's a four frame blocking, which is actually pretty nice. Um, if you were to check out uh, weapon blocking, or sorry, um, faster blocking rate, uh, D2, uh, you search that and you'll find a weapon on the, uh, the wiki, or a... a chart on the wiki, that's what I meant to say, a chart on the wiki, um, you will find that Paladin has to have 13 faster blocking rate before he hits 4 frames, um, which is uh, which is not bad at all. Uh, most characters do not start out at 4 frames, so you're getting 4 frames uh, much better than most other characters in the game. Uh, for instance, at 0 faster blocking rate, the Vampire is at 15 frames, the Necromancer is at 11 frames, the Werebear is at 12 frames, the Werewolf is at 9 frames, the Druid is at 11 frames, and so forth and so on, the Barbarian is at 7, the Assassin uh, starts out at 5 frames with 0% faster blocking, and so forth and so on. Um, so, you know, this particular character um, starts out at 5 and can go to 4 relatively easily. Um, and uh, and basically, you're about the same as an Amazon or or the base assassin, which is uh, which is five frames. Five frame blocking is not bad at all. Um, I would definitely not want to use a shield if I had something as terrible as the uh, Werebear's 12 faster blocking rate. Uh, but five frames is certainly workable. Um, it's definitely nice to have a little bit better faster blocking. Four frames is definitely a little bit better than five. Um, and you can achieve that like we were talking about earlier with the Guardian Angel Templar Coat. Uh, hopefully, I, uh, hopefully I explained that properly and it wasn't confusing. Uh, sometimes I am confusing. Uh, there's really not a lot more to go over when it comes to Weapon Block. Um, it does work extremely well for a Dual Claw Assassin. And, uh, and as I said earlier, it works very good for Whirlwind as well. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, uh, even when I am wielding two claws and blocking your spells. And as always, keep watching.